Hello friends, this is Brian Cavanaugh here. I am the founder of Streamwise Solutions, Connected Living Made Easy. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Alexa search function on your Amazon Fire TV setup. Um, there's a couple ways to do this. I'm actually just using the remote to kind of navigate around left and right with the circle button up top and then the center select button. Uh, if you notice under find, there's actually a search functionality here. So if you move down and then hit the center select button, you can manually type stuff in, but that's uh, obviously uh, kind of old school. Uh, Alexa voice search doesn't necessarily work with every single app. It definitely you know, is, is actually quite good once you get, understand how to use it and how not to use it. So maybe take a little trial and error. You can always hit the home button in the middle of the Fire TV remote and go back home and start over if you get lost or messed up somewhere. Um, but anyway, basically, as you can kind of see in the top left, it says you want to find the uh, voice button, which on the new remotes is actually in blue to make it even easier to find. But it's actually right at the very top of the remote above the circle. Um, the key is you need to hold it down while you're doing it. So. Uh, you can be anywhere on this whole entire screen. So if I hit the home button first and go back home, I'll show you kind of a couple things to do. And again, you really have to enunciate and you have to press the button first, hold it down, and then when it lights up, that's when you start talking. A lot of people start talking right away, so it only catches part of what you're saying. So I'll kind of show you some things, especially if you have an antenna and uh, a Fire TV recast, some pretty nifty little tips and tricks of certain things to uh, search for. So first thing we'll do is hold down the voice button in the top of the Fire TV remote. Channel guide. So with the Fire TV you'll kind of notice there's actually two or three or four ways to do things. So what I just did was I just voice remoted and held that button down and said channel guide. And you can see now I'm in my traditional uh, grid channel guide here. So I can just kind of really quickly get to that. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is the same thing. Uh, there's two sources for TV. There's the free antenna stuff and the channel guide I just got onto. Uh, and there's also um, the DVR, which is no monthly rate as well. The second source for TV is streaming. So the DVR is separate in the streaming app depending on what you're using, you know, Philo Sling, YouTube TV, whatever. I'll show you that next, but first things first, uh, if I use the voice remote again, hold down the button up top, DVR. So basically this is a quick shortcut to get to my DVR recordings off of the uh, antenna for the Fire TV recast. You can see it displays them all here and pretty, uh, pretty easy to get to. By the way, if I hit the home button, on the Fire TV remote and I go over to the live section. Channel guide is the same thing I just got to voice by doing, getting to it through the live section here, the grid channel guide. And then DVR, if I go a little bit further down, these are all my DVR recordings off the antenna as well. So again, it's just a, a different way to get to things, maybe an easier, quicker way for, for some people as well. It's all personal preference. It gets you to the same spot though. Um, Next thing I'm going to show you is searching for shows, which can get a little bit confusing because remember, this is an Amazon product. So when you search, it's going to display content from a lot of different sources. So I'll search for something like Bachelorette. Not a show that I watch, by the way, side note. But uh, anyway, so you can see it pops back top results, has similar results, and then Live TV is probably the first place you want to go to. If you have an antenna, you'll see this, because this is actually the free stuff that is just airing uh, off the antenna. But you noticed I had to hit this, the uh, circle down button a couple times to get to that. If I hit the center select button on this, you can actually see I can record the series, record the episode. Um, and actually, if you back up and you look at the top right corner, you, see, you can see how it says Fire TV Recast. So that's how you kind of know that this is from channel Denver 7 ABC off of the Fire TV recast. So it's all the free stuff where you can set up your series recordings. You can also go into the channel guide and set up recordings that way too, of course. But if I go back up to where we originally came in, 
keep in mind a lot of these if I hit the center select button on them they're Amazon stuff that they're gonna try to get you to buy so when you see something like this that's not prime or not free off the antenna you want to back out of it and not buy it unless of course you want to drop some money uh, we're all about saving people money so we're really trying to get you away from that stuff for the most part because there's thousands and thousands of shows and movies to watch for free um, the top result that comes in up top here is a lot of time from different apps so if I hit on the bachelorette here that might be the same thing that's showing over the air on the antenna for free that we set up a series recording down below but you can see as we got in here this is actually what's on Hulu so if you're paying for Hulu that's great but if you're not paying for it then obviously we want to skip this too so the point being is when you're searching for stuff just be aware it's going to pop you into everything related to the show or to the channel you're searching for and you really need to sift through and make sure it's truly what you want because I would always start with the live TV the free stuff first so I'm gonna hit the home button again and then the next thing I'll show you is um, if you're paying for a pay service there's a couple different things. We'll use the example of like Fox News. So I'm going to do the, do the voice remote here. Notice the difference. Fox News. So if I just voice and say Fox News, it's taking me to everything kind of related to Fox News. So yes, I can kind of scroll down and find live TV. But what happens is a lot of people get confused and they click on the Fox News app here. If you're paying for something like Sling or YouTube TV or whatever Fox News is going to be in there so you actually don't want to get it through here because if I click and hit the center select button on this this is just an app so it's going to be like a paid thing they're going to try to get money out of you or it's going to be like not live content necessarily like you have through your sling or YouTube TV so you don't want to use that uh, if I hit the home button if you are paying for one of these services and you sync it and integrate it in a lot of times the voice button will work for things like this. It depends on the app and who you're paying and, and what have you. But if I do it this way, watch Fox News. So now because I put watch in front of it and because I'm actually paying for one of these streaming services, um, not all of them integrate in. Just like you know, certain apps don't integrate in as well. But most of them do nowadays as long as you synced it properly. Uh, you can see like this is actually pulling up my Sling service directly because I said watch Fox News and it's popping me basically kind of to the closest area and you know yes I can get Fox News here or I can get it in my channel guide if I go out here to the left as well the grid channel guide so I personally don't use it to watch channels but that is one way to do it um, same concept if I hit the home button again watch ABC so this is actually going to pull ABC off of my recast for my antenna and just populate that. And you can see it's playing my local Denver 7 ABC, for instance. Uh, again, I'll hit the home button. It also works like, you know, with apps like Netflix and, of course, Amazon Prime, obviously, but not all apps. So you just have to kind of play with it. Lupin. So I just did a search for Lupin, which is a show I know on Netflix, so you can see it'll actually pull up Netflix and actually find that specific show and start playing it probably from where I left off as an example. So that's one uh, kind of other solution there. And you can say watch Netflix. So anyway, that's kind of the, the basics. Again, it's not 100% all there, but you know, it's, it's 80% and it's really uh, just based on you kind of knowing what to say and what not to say. You have to say the right things. So a lot of the things I said in this video are, are the right things to say. Personally, I don't use search for everything, though. I actually think it's kind of easier to navigate. So I actually use this main navigation row here and just go left and right. The live section, like I said before, it's got the guide. It's got your recent channels. Um, it's got all your apps in here. It's got your recordings in here. So really, like you can just do that. And then the other thing is if you're on the main navigation here, um, you know going left and right you can see I have all my main apps that I use out here so sling or YouTube TV or Netflix or Prime or Disney or whatever it is so uh, you know you can use voice if you like but in certain situations I think it's actually easier just to go straight to the app 
as well. So that's kind of summary of uh, search. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, Brian, Streamwise Solutions, Connected Living Made Easy, signing off and uh, join us for future videos. If you subscribe to our YouTube page, uh, if you just do a search in the YouTube app for Streamwise Solutions, you'll find it there and you can subscribe to any future uh, videos that we do for free as well. All right, thanks.